What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com recapping the news. My apologies on a late video and when I say late I mean late in uploading in the week. But we do have some good information here as well as some exclusive info for you guys. But first up before I give you a breakdown greatly appreciate a thumbs up and if you're new here make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. Now some of the highlights from Jordan brand is that we have a first look at the Air Jordan 3 Red Cement releasing All-Star Weekend. There's also additional information on possibly another Air Jordan 3 releasing during that time. And we have a first look at the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Court Purple. Now there's more from Jordan brand and the highlight from Nike would be that the Nike LeBron 7 All-Star is returning in 2020. Also more from Nike and a few things from Adidas. And now without wasting too much more of your time, Let's jump into the news. We have new images of the Adidas Yeezy V3 as well as new information. So initially, this pair was expected to feature Boost, but that isn't the case. According to Yeezy Mafia, this pair will use a new form of cushioning technology. Other than that, I've seen images floating around that showcases the upper which glows in the dark, the overlay, and this particular pair is being called Azelle. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Now, as far as the specific details on a release a date has yet to be confirmed however the rumored release date is december 23rd retail price will be 180 we now have a detailed look at the adidas yeezy boost 350 v2 being called tailgate other than the new images we don't really have much new information but if you missed the previous video this pair somewhat resembles that of the Lundmark and Static release, and it features gray prime knit across the upper. Then we have a shade of cream across the midsole, reflective detailing lands on the laces, and three stripes on the liner, while a gum rubber outsole completes the look. So as far as release info, this pair is rumored to release during February 2020, and the retail price will be 220 expected to be part of the lebron watch series here we have the nike lebron 17 infrared now inspiration for this pair comes from the black infrared air jordan 6 and taking a closer look it features black and red knit posit across the upper while a red dunk man lands on the lace lock and for those that don't know the lebron 17 doesn't come with a lace lock so that is a direct nod to the air jordan 6 also 2-3 and lebron is seen on the tongue the way lebron is written mimics that of the flight font and then we have a black to red translucent outsole so currently release information is unknown just a few images leaked of this shoe now it's very possible we see this pair drop this month but if not then this will be another 2020 release the Ant Pearl series from Kevin Durant is probably the longest lasting as far as themes for his signature shoe. Now we have a look and release info for the Nike KD12 Ant Pearl. Now this pair is a tribute to Kevin Durant's late Ant Pearl, just like the other ones, but this kind of has a what the theme. Now the Ant Pearl theme was first seen in 2012 and was used on the KD4. Using pink throughout, breaking down each element in the shoe, it includes pearl graphic on the collar foam, which is drawn from the KD4. The sock liner graphic is from the KD5, the rose heel graphic is from the KD6, the wing strap across the midfoot is from the KD7, the heel embroidery is from the KD9, the material on the tongue, collar, and Nike swoosh is from the KD10, and the outsole marbling is from the KD11. So mashing all those elements together, we have the KD12 Ant Pearl, and I actually think they did a really good job on this. So. For the release date, this pair will drop on December 26th, one day after Christmas, and currently a retail price is unknown. The Nike SB Dunk is back, and when I say back is the popularity. So at one period of time, these shoes were considered hype. And then for years, they fell off some really nice pairs you were able to get for a great price, and now the prices have skyrocketed. People have their reasons for that, but the number one reason I see is that it's because Travis Scott started wearing dunks. So with that being said, I at least feel that the colorways and the themes of shoes are getting a lot better from 
the SB line, and here we have the Truck It pack. Included in the pack is the SB Dunk High and the SB Dunk Low. Now, inspiration comes from road trips and has a 70s feel to it. Now, I'm not entirely sure how this is all gonna play out. There may be more information as far as the inspiration goes, but the high comes in black, university red, and team orange, while the low comes dressed in light cream and deep royal blue. Both pairs will come constructed with suede across the upper and then the swoosh across the side has a 70s fill and just below it, if you look closely, you'll notice stitching. Now on the insoles, each pair has a unique graphic and there's a small cactus cutout. You'll see that on the right insole. Now on the low top, if you look closely on the tongue overlay, you'll see another cactus. Now we don't have a retail price for the two nor a specific release date, but they are expected to drop during January of 2020. Here is another exclusive piece of news that you heard first from me and Sneaker Fods, of course. And this is that the Nike LeBron 7 All-Star is making a return in 2020. Now, I have yet to see the shoe, but I got to see from Nike the description, the model, as well as additional information. So how I linked the shoe up to be the All-Star is simply based off the colorway. So the colorway for the 2020 release is chlorine blue and black, and that's exactly the same colorway as the original release, which took place in 2010. As most of you know, the LeBron 9 released in 2009, but carried on in 2010. LeBron James wore this pair during the 2010 All-Star Game, and during 2020 will mark the 10th anniversary of the shoe. Now, this isn't the only LeBron 7 that is returning next year. There's actually two other colorways. One, I was able to line up with another OG colorway. And then the other colorway, I haven't figured out what shoe it is. But those two pairs, I'm definitely going to leak to you guys very soon. For the Nike LeBron 7 All-Star, additional information that I received is a possible release during February, which would make sense. That's when All-Star Weekend takes place. And the retail price will be 200. Also, I was informed that the All-Star pair, along with the two other colorways that are coming, will be available at Nike sneakers and tier zero accounts. So this will be another somewhat limited, hard to get your hands on pair. Personally, I actually like this pair a lot and I know a lot of others do as well. So hopefully they actually produce more, but we'll see. On to Jordan Brand and Chicago's best spoke designer, Sheila Rashid is collaborating with Jordan Brand and it'll be on the Air Jordan 1 Mid. She's also part of Jordan Brand's Unite campaign, but taking a closer look at her pair, it features a split design. On the toe in part of the overlays is tumbled leather, but dipped in purple. This is kind of similar to some of the customs that I seen back in the day. I think there was like this viral video or somewhat viral that Someone took the Supreme Air Jordan 5s and dipped them in paint. Kind of reminds me of that, but obviously a cleaner finish. Now, on the panels and around the heel, we have gray suede. And then on the swoosh, ankle, and tongue labels is gray leather. Now, the tongue will come with a traditional nylon, while cream is applied to the trimming. Finishing the look is co-branding on the insoles. At the time of shooting this video, a release date or retail price is not available, but they are expected to release in the very near future so as soon as additional information is available i'll make sure to let you guys know we have on feed photos of this upcoming air jordan 11 low and the new nickname for the shoe which i hate is white bread so if anybody can come up with another nickname that's catchy please let me know in the comments so i could try to push that nickname rather than calling the shoe white bread but they come dressed in white university red black and true red and they are a mixture of the bread air jordan 11 and the concord release up top we have white then we have black across the patent leather white again on the midsole and then the outsole is done in red with a translucent finish other than that you have black on the liner as well as hinted on the tongue along with red so a pretty straightforward look it pretty much mashes two iconic colorways into one i'm pretty sure this pair would do a lot better if it was a mid or high whatever you want to call it but it's a low i will say this though i thought a lot of people would dislike this shoe but i'm seeing the opposite people are loving it now on to the release info this pair drops on april 25th and the retail price will be 185 
After the Air Jordan 1 Zoom Fearless release, we have a few additional colorways that are releasing during 2020. One of them I've seen, I have yet to put a Photoshop out of that. So expect that to come soon. But before that happens, we have a first look at the upcoming Racer Blue Edition. The pair is pretty simple. It comes dressed in white and Racer Blue, but it appears that we have pure platinum, which resembles gray on the overlays, white lands on the base, and as far as the materials used, they come constructed with mesh, patent leather, tumble leather, and translucent TPU. On the lateral side, you'll see a small label that reads Zoom. Zoom Air also lands on the tongue. And then the Racer Blue is minimal. It lands on the liner and the lace tips. They also come with Zoom Air technology. And then the outsole is a blue to red gradient, as well as translucent, just like on the Fearless pair. So the rumor is that this pair will release during January 2020, but I've also heard the release date is March 14th. So I'm not exactly sure which date it's going to be, but as soon as that gets confirmed, I'll make sure to let you guys know. And the retail price will be 175. A few months back, Z Sneakerhead Z and I brought you what the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Court Purple would look like. This was another pair that I was able to see early before images leaked. So we did a Photoshop mock-up of that. And finally, we have a first look. So this isn't the best first look, but as you can see, it's just like the Photoshop. We have leather throughout, white on the panels, toe and midsole, black lands on the laces, swoosh, wings logo, and on the ankle, and then court purple hits the overlays. So pretty much like a Chicago color blocking, but using court purple. The last detail, which I'm sure you guys already see, is court purple on the rubber outsole. Also not mentioned, and you can't really see in these photos, Nike Air branding will be included on the tongue. Now, something I'm seeing a lot of is questions on the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, and the Air Jordan 1 High 85. So some people wanna know if the two are still releasing at the same time, different times, and they will run alongside each other. So you'll see both models release at different time frames during the year. And the difference between the two is the Air Jordan 1 High 85 resembles that of the OG release more than the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Although I have no complaints on the Retro High OG, I think it's close and I do like it, but when you see the 85 High, it's just like, man, that just looks so clean. Now, onto the release info. This pair is expected to drop on April 4th. Now, this isn't confirmed. We have a lot of time until then, so anything could happen. The date could be pushed forward or back, and the retail price will be 170. Last but not least, we have a first look at the Air Jordan 3 Red Cement. This pair comes dressed in fire red, cement gray, and black. So the overall look resembles that of the black cement OG. However, we have red tumbled leather on the upper. Other than that, we have elephant print around the toe and heel, while gray leather lands on the ankle collar, eyelets, and tongue. The tongue will feature a red Jumpman, and then we have Nike Air branding placed on the heel. Also, you can see black laces are being used, but also included are red laces. And what I think is most interesting about this release is that the overall mold is a lot closer to the 1988 OG release compared to some of the Air Jordan 3s we've seen released over the years. So that in itself is probably the most exciting for me. And just my personal opinion on this, because a lot of people have been asking what my opinion is. I'm not a fan of the shoe. I feel like they could have done more. It simply looks like somebody customized a black cement Air Jordan 3, and this was the outcome. Now, there's something else I want to address in this video before we move forward, but first I need to give you the release info so this all makes sense. This pair is expected to release on February 15th, which is All-Star Weekend, and the retail price will be 200. Now, there is a possibility that two Air Jordan 3 colorways will release during All-Star Weekend. This isn't confirmed, but going through style numbers as well as colorways, there was two that are set to release during February with a very similar colorway using fire red, cement gray, and black. Now, the biggest difference other than that was the placement of the colors in the description as well as the style number. So with those two indications, it kind of leads a lot of people that are behind the scenes and that have seen it to believe 
that two colorways might be releasing during All-Star Weekend. There has even been a rumor, and I stress that this is a rumor, that one pair will be a Chicago exclusive, and then the other pair, which will more than likely be this pair, will be a global release. Again, nothing is confirmed. I'm just throwing that out there so you're kind of updated and kept in the loop of things. But overall, let me know your thoughts on this pair in the comments below. Do you plan on picking them up or passing? And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfiles.com and then we take it to YouTube. Like always, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Now, I know I'm a bit late in the week as far as the first upload, but I'm really going to try to get at least two more uploads up. As most of you know, I try to get at least three videos out a week, although sometimes it's a bit hard. I really wish I could do more than that. But for those that are listening, I have a lot of exclusive information from Nike and Jordan brand. I probably have enough to do just one video on the exclusive info that I have, but I would like to spread that out over the course of several videos. But in the next video, you can definitely expect some new info. So be on the lookout. Now, before I get out of here, greatly appreciate a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.